Get a small like you. Yeah, work jacket today on my way to work. Good morning though. Good morning. Hey Mr. Carter. Uh -huh, you do. I run the world and I'm back again. Yeah, I'm on my way to work today. Good morning though. You know, greetings. Another morning, another day, another dollar. That's what they say. Or oh, is it the same nightmares? I can't even buy coffee no more in the morning. Shit crazy, bro. I was wishing I could be in another site. Buy coffee from there and bring it, bro. I, I decided not to buy coffee from this area no more. People don't respect you. For the things that you do for them, I don't have to be buying from your business. So, every time I, it's like, it's crazy. You buy for one business, another business complain. They start riding around. You buy from them, and these niggas start riding. It's like a race war going, and I'm just in the middle of it. It's much quiet when I don't buy nothing from them. You feel me? <laughs> That's it. I said it's much quiet when I don't buy nothing from them. Word up. It's much more peaceful when I just don't buy. I notice that you always gotta pay attention. You always man, pay attention to your enemies, man. On both sides. The ones that claim to go for you and the ones that don't go for you. So you feel me? So pay attention to them, man. So when I don't buy from both sides, it's peaceful. Just none of that extra noise niggas be doing. And these niggas fighting a war against each other. And I'm like, yeah, let me move out the way. I'm not buying from both sides. I, mean, I be hungry, but I'm like, fucking man, I'm, I'm starving in the morning. And like, these niggas out here playing games and shit, man. Playing games, like trying to see who's more evil. They, like, this shit crazy to me. But that's not what I came here to. I just wanted my donuts. No, that's all I asked for a donut and coffee in the morning. Feel me? That's all. I ain't asking for nothing too crazy. You dig? Yeah. Morning briefing. My bus, I got on the bus today. My bus driver said, damn, it's going to be a lot of traffic. She was like, um,. She was like, damn, I'm sorry, but you probably gonna be late today. And I started I started laughing and stuff like that. She's like, oh, you don't care you're gonna be late? I'm like, I'm always two hours early. <laughs> She's like, what? Two hours? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> she, I'm like, I, I'd rather be early then, you know what I mean? Start rushing to work and stuff. She's like, oh, okay, then it's okay then. I was like, yeah, like, you know what I mean? This, this is just regular, this is a morning routine. Like. Nigga gotta wake up early, but the bus ain't gonna be running. The bus ain't gonna be running on um, Thanksgiving. There's a few holidays that the bus ain't gonna be running, so I'm telling you, these two months, man, spent a whole lot of money, man. On transportation, just from my place to here, it's like $50, bro. It's expensive. It's crazy. I'm telling y'all. That's that's nothing. <laughs> that could be the laundry detergent sometimes, man. That machine in my house needs to get fired, bro. It's a little it's, uh, it's not New York code. It's like it's bearable. First, the fact that I'm holding my phone in this weather tells you everything. New York, I wouldn't be able to hold my shit. It's so cold out there. But here is, to them, it's cold. To me, it's like, yeah. Right now, it's, 50, it's 55 to 60 degrees. That's luxurious where I'm from. So it's like, you know, this is not cold to me. I can literally throw on a hoodie. This is hoodie weather right here. When we view New York. Nice hoodie, throwing nice warm hoodie, you good, my nigga. Like, 
I just decided to just throw in the work jacket. You know what I mean? Dig. My smile. It's not a scarf. It's face mask slash, you know. Try to design it a little bit. Because it's mandatory that you have one now. So, you know, you might as well do the, make the best of it. With Jim Crow Biden president now, supposedly, I guess they're giving it to him. With him being a man now, he gonna make it mandatory. I already said that in my other video right there. He was gonna make it mandatory from the start, which is not necessary right now. It's like, but, you know, these niggas gonna come in. They haven't ruled for the last four years, so they gonna make they whole thing is to have revenge on those who went against them. But they'll be preaching another message saying unity. But in the back rooms and everything else, they will be attacking people who made it hard on them. They're going to try to make it hard on the Trump, not even administration, Trump business as a whole. They will try to make it hard on Trump supporters. They're going to try to make it hard on anybody. You see what happened to Lil Wayne? Already they went for after Lil Wayne. The niggas ain't even president yet. They started that shit already. They already started it charges that I've been throwing at Lil Wayne, ironically. So talking about he gonna face ten years. Shit, those, these are threats. So they've already started already. I told you, man, some people, man, even when they win, they lose. Cause they're just bitter. People have if you don't challenge they if, if there's no challenge and somebody challenged them like that, they've been so used to being empowered there. When you challenge them like that, you shock their world. They never, they don't understand that kind of language. They don't, they have yes men and yes women around them. So they have people diving for bullets for them. So if you find somebody like me and others, or Trump and others, or the Trump supporters and others, or people just who just don't, are not into poli politics, who just think for themselves, and question, yeah, they they will attack you. They'll come after you. And you seen the um the one of the suspects of the Breonna Taylor suspiciously killed. Shout out to Vicky for uh, uh, putting me on on that report. Vicky Dillon, Black Media on Fly New Being King Queen. Y'all should check her out on YouTube. It's called Fly New Being Queen. Fly New Being Queen on YouTube. Check it out. You can check out Vicky Dillon and all the other sisters on it. But, back to the story. <clears throat> yeah. One is suspicious, suspicious, suspiciously killed, they suspiciously killed um, one of the people that was named in the, Bri 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 in the Brianna Taylor case. He was supposedly on the warrant where Brianna Taylor address was. Yeah, he was suspiciously killed. Nobody know, no suspects has been named. So, the deep state has already started, man. They, they already started. It's not even year one year. They've already started. So, it's crazy, man. I'm telling y'all. I got a story to tell. I got a story to tell that my gun talked to me. But nobody believes that my gun talked to me. I got a story to tell that my knife talked to me. But nobody believed that my knife talked to me. So they are telling them they don't believe me, man. They coming after everybody. How dare you think for yourself? Huh? <laughs> it kind of reminds me. <laughs> It reminds her of this shit pass by. It reminds me of um, this day and age. It still reminds me of them days when uh, they didn't. When they didn't allow African Americans to read, and when um, one of the slave masters found out that one of the girls can't read, 
He said, what kind of crude joke are you playing on me? <laughs> it was a movie I was watching. I forgot what movie it was, yeah? It was like the, the black girl started reading. You feel me? In front of her slave master while he was playing with a slave master daughter. They was using her as a pet. It was like, it's crazy how they used to take, do um, the African Americans back then. You feel me? It was like, you have the slave master and his family and they got a daughter. And the daughter has a slave girl who is more like her pet. Just like a doll that a little girls play with today, but they was using a, a, a human being who's black as their pet. So that's what that's that's what the whole picture was showing right there and then. So to them, they were so delusional. The slave master and his family, and the whole system back there, they were so delusional. They was they was lied to. Even up to this day, some of these people are being lied to that we are not, not, nothing more than three-fifths of a human or one-fifth, whatever, I gave us a, a little more percentage than that. The one-fifth of a human or something like that, that we are incapable of reading or doing or thinking anything constructive in our mind. So it wasn't that we was being degraded. It was them being lied to and, and they was being degraded and their mind couldn't, anything else that we did would, would shock the conscience. So to most of those slave owners and their family all the way up to now, their conscience is being shocked right now to the point where it's still vibrating like an earthquake. It's like a shaking. Like they still can't believe half of the things that they hear. They still believe that most of the things that we do and say is some other white person that told us to, uh, and say these things and do these things. They still don't understand that we are capable of doing and saying these things. And that should just don't stand to just it's not just that idea it's not based on pigmentation it's also it also will stand out to other races who like let me tell you the effects of white supremacists and the 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 cause what is it the symptoms of it all how it spreads out into other people So you have people, right, who are necessarily, quote unquote, not white, but could be considered as white, but of other race, who have also been affected by this kind of ideology, where they feel like their skin and the, and the texture of their hair can pass them off as being white, so they see themselves superior to you. You understand? So this behavior that was formed back in the... I don't even know what year was this. Who give a fuck? But during the Jim Crow days and beyond Jim Crow days, during slavery and everything else, has affected modern day people today, not just white people. And it's not all white people that think like that. It has also affected people from the Latino community. It has also affected people from the Asian community. It has also affected people from the Indian community. It has affected people all around the world that, even in Africa, it affected people like that where people be comparing themselves through tribal walls and thinking, because my skin is a little lighter than yours, or my te the texture of my hair is different from yours, that means I'm better than you. It doesn't know, it doesn't matter how much you know, it doesn't matter how brilliant you are. I Like, you feel me? And, and that's what it is right there. That behavior has affected the whole world. And it's something that we need to, as a collective group, it doesn't matter if I understand and I have overcame and I can freely talk about it without no shame. It matters that the majority of us, <laughs> as a whole, overcome it. Because it doesn't matter if I'm, I, I have, I have, um, I can easily be like, laugh about it. Because to me, it's kind of fun. It's idiotic. Like, come on, man. How stupid can you be? Even Albert Einstein said it. Albert Einstein, Albert Einstein said that if they don't, if you don't stop this behavior, he was talking to his white counterparts. He said, if you don't stop this behavior, then they kids. He's talking about our kids. He said they kids and our kids in the future will laugh at us. He's saying that they kids, which is white, and oh no, I said they kids. He was basically talking about us as 
their kids. Like from his perspective, from his point of view, he's saying their kids, which is the black people. And he said our kids, which is the white people. He said in the future, we'll laugh at white supremacists because they will see how stupid it was for them to think the way they was thinking. You understand? So that's why sometimes it's like, I get it. I get what Albert Einstein would say. I get it so brightly. I get it. I so get it. I'm like, it makes so much sense that he would say that. And he was one of the most intelligent men in the world. And people really didn't know that Albert Einstein and W.B. Boyson, uh, Bo whatever, I think, W, is it W.B.? He has W.B. Boyston. He's one of the founders of the Black Star, um, what is it called? Black, the Pan-Africanism. They used to be, uh, uh, they used to write letter back and forth to each other. And Albert Einstein was also a civil rights activist. And people don't know this stuff. You got to read the bio. So I, I read the bio a long time ago. He was, he was going back, he was writing back and forth with Albert Einstein, getting pointers and trying to see what his point of view on these things were. And one of his letters, there's a lot of his letters actually, and um, it's actually well documented in this book. I, I have a, a habit of not remembering the title of the book or the author of the book. All I remember is the information that I can use. And it's very selfish of me, so forgive me. But you can Google uh, these things for yourself if you don't believe it. But Albert Einstein was a civil rights activist, you feel me? He was fighting for civil rights and he was speaking on behalf of African Americans. And that's no cliche to it, you feel me? So. He said that if they, if we continue this kind of behavior, looking down upon these people as if they can think for themselves and they can speak for themselves and everything that they do, somebody must have given it to them or racism and segregation and we see, and see them as second class citizen. He said in the future, he was hoping that in the future, you know, by then we will all have some kind of, as time goes on, they said time heals all wounds. Not just a wound as in um, a wound, flesh wound, but a wound as in ignorance and stupidity, you feel me? Eventually, after a while, we get smarter and smarter, you feel me? Even though it's slow, we will catch up. Even back then, it's only a handful, a handful of people who knew what an atomic bomb was. People were working on the Manhattan Project and didn't know that there was part, there was creating an atomic bomb. So you can have a group of people working on something but don't know what kind of the devastation of what they're working on. But just, just blindly following, doing it, without knowing it. Then they didn't know. Then the next thing they found out that the, pro the project that they was working on, which was called the Manhattan Project, before it was called um, Atomic, they, they, they named, they code name, quote unquote, Manhattan Project. And these people were working on it, doing maps and everything else like that. And when they later on find out they've, they've created an atomic bomb and they, they later on dropped it on Japan. So you can be working on something that okay destroy somebody else and you don't even know what you're doing. So sometimes you just got to be smart enough. But as time goes on, as a collective group, when I say group, I'm talking about the human race, we become smarter. So basically what Brent Einstein was saying, as time goes on in the future, when we become smarter, we will laugh at people like that who thought that the color of their skin meant that they were superior over somebody else or the texture of their hair or if they thought that they were speaking smart that they sound smart you feel me and not actually knowing the information that they were speaking about you feel me because i don't know everything else but if i do speak on it i know a little bit of something that i can elaborate on and that's that i'm not going to go into a subject that i have no idea about you feel me I can have my own opinion. Now, I'm gonna tell you it's my opinion. If I was wrong, I'd probably come back, probably. I ain't gonna lie, probably come back and be like, yo, I was wrong about that, da, 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 da. and this is what it actually is. And that would be the noble, that would be the noble, noble thing to do, you feel me? So, that being said, <clears throat> the, let me get back to the story, you feel, because I'll be going on for, the good thing about my mind is that I can always come back to where I'm at. I don't know how I do it, but it always happens. But when we come back to the story, I don't have no notes, no past. A nigga just walking and talking, but it, it works out perfectly sometimes. Like, I never get off course. Although I can deviate and, yeah, deviate. I can deviate a little bit. I always come back to where I was. But the whole point of the thing, the thing that I was saying is that the guy was, it was a movie, and I was watching a movie, and the guy was like, and a guy and a girl and a black girl started reading 
And I guess the slave master walk in. He was like, what kind of crude joke are you playing on me right now? He's like, oh, no, master, I was just playing. I was, he's like, oh, don't play like that. Who, you scared of hell? You scared the hell out of me. <laughs> can you imagine that he was scared that the little girl can read? You feel me? Imagine that, yo. Imagine that. A lot of people just don't, like, he, they were so scared. It had me thinking, was he really scared that the little girl can read? Or was, what he, was he scared that he was wrong? I, yo, that's nice. I said, was he scared that the little girl can read? Or he was just scared that he could be wrong about what he was saying? Like, or, he, he, or was he just scared that he wasn't that special? Because if one day you find out that dogs can read and do the same thing that you can do, how special are you as a human being? Because we hold, we, we, we like to put ourselves as... We try to separate ourselves from the exact place that we in. We try to make it seem like we're on top of the food chain and we are not animals and everything else like that. But if animals can do the same thing we can do and think constructively, which they do, we just don't understand it yet, then how special are we? Because we want to feel special, you feel me? We want to feel like, oh, we are the one. We are it, you feel me? So, and that's how they had it in their mind. It felt like, oh... This other race of humans that we dragged out from their homeland to come build our economy, work, and everything else like that. Because apparently they didn't want to do it. I guess that's the story. But they was being lied to, basically. That's what it was, man. They was being lied to. And that's the same thing that's going on with Jim Crow and the rest of these liberal parties. like... These people are being lied to because they gain most of their news from a government. You feel me? That's my whole point. My whole point is that they're being lied to, man. By the time they've realized, they probably not even going to realize in their lifetime. That's why they're talking about the civil war and everything else like that. Because guess what? Following that, there was a civil war. And you always have these people always choosing sides. It's crazy. You feel me? The same. They try to say history. The only reason why history repeats itself because people don't know the history. That's it. You feel me? You can know that you black and you can know I'm from this place and my parents came here and da da da. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to know. Knowing is basically understanding why it happened and how you have overcame it. That's really knowing. You feel me? But if you just know about what happened and you don't understand the reason why it happened and how people overcame it, you're bound to repeat it again. You feel me? So it's like, that's how I see it. The way Jim, Jim, Jim Joe, Jim Crow Biden is moving right now. And they, they speak. They speak very eloquent when they're in front of the camera, you feel me? Because they have people that they've hired, professionals who write their scripts for them, and this is not even from their own mind. This is the people, a, a group of people who are sitting down and they're speaking to them and telling them what to say in public, and they're using keywords and using slangs and saying words the same way so they can relate to people. It's all part of an organized, strategized way to connect to people, but it's not real, you feel me? So that's the same thing that went on back then, the way they lied to the white population to think that we was less than and have them. Like, if you take a look at German, Hitler was not the only Nazi, nigga. It was a whole country that voted that man into power and that supported that man. Come on, man, you feel me? So if you, it, it's like, yo, you got to think for yourself. That's just the whole point of this story that I'm on, this long blabbing that I'm going on right now. We just got to start thinking for ourselves. You know what I mean, I'm basically in the same boat sometimes where people just blindly attack me. Like, this is a great example of what I'm going through. I came all the way to a whole nother coast, and these people are attacking me as if I did something to them personally. You understand? So sometimes you just got to think for yourself. It's a lot of people throughout the whole of history that keep repeating the same mistake because they haven't got the reason why certain things happen. 
they haven't got into the root of it. But they just, they want to take your root out. You feel me? But anyway, it's like, yeah, let's get into the meaning of it. Let's get into the knowing and the understanding of it. Let's get into the foundation of it, the reason, the way it started. You feel me? You got to get your hands in the dirt and scoop it up and see and forget the feel of it. Get the texture of it. Get your hands dirty a little bit when you want to know information a little bit. Go deep into it. Get your hands wet. Put your feet in the water and dive in. Anyway. Yeah, you got to put your feet in the water and dive in. You feel me? But... It's crazy. Some people just like to come, sneak by and be like, oh, okay. Yeah, it was just, you know, they just surface readers and that's it. Like, you feel me? They just surface dwellers. They never dive deep into the thing and try to see the reason why certain things happen and everything else like that. <clears throat> you feel me? So this is what it is right here. So I just had to, you know, connect that back to me, myself, and I. Because, you know, I'm selfish in that sense. And I try to understand the reason why people act the way they do. And I'm all the way on another coast. You feel me? These people have no right in being this mad over something that they don't even know. You feel me? You can't, you can't be that mad over something that you don't know. Like, why I even attack the man for it? Feel me? So I always got to bring it back to my idols and my mentors and how what they stood for. You know, I fucked to Albert Einstein since it's beyond the theory of relativity. Beyond, for that, it's beyond that for me. It's about the, his letter and his mind and the way he, he, he really... That man was beautiful, man. I'm telling you, the way he was thinking is different. You got to read those letters that he wrote. Feel me? It's one thing looking at those work of the theory of relativity. And the reason why he was even able to understand these things because he had a heart. Like, he had a good heart, bro. Like, that's the way to intelligence. You have to be mindful of things. Like, I ain't never met a wicked person. I never met a wicked person who was intelligent. Because he's always going to have a flaw in his game. You feel me? It, it, it just... It, it's going to be a flaw in there. Like, you have to be very welcoming and understanding. Not just to your own, but to everybody else. And Albert Einstein had that mind. And I, I wanted to see what made this man so intelligent. So I started reading. I'm like, let me see. So well, I started reading. And I'm like, oh, wow. He said that about African Americans. Wow. da 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 I'm like, that's why. Because you cannot be intelligent if you don't have a mind like that. Like, you have to be understanding. You have to be loving. You have to be welcoming. Like, you have to be selfless. You, like, you have to put others before you on some other kind of, you feel me, shit. Like, <laughs> like you just, you just got to. Like, it's, it's unexplainable. Like, you have to be... You, like you like that's the only way you can solve problems sometimes you feel me i just it's like the caring part you have to be caring you feel me you have to be self aware like you feel me like you have to you have to see things beyond yourself you have to able you have to be able to be in it but yes step back and see it from all points of view if you can or multiple points of view you feel me and that's what I said. I, that's what I saw from Albert Einstein at that time when he saw the African American as being. He be, he just saw them. He just saw us for what we are. Even up to this day, his words rang tr true to us. You feel me? So I'm like, yeah, that man was very very intelligent. Cause he didn't have to. Like you know how they gas niggas up, especially people when. White supremacists get a hold of you and you make their race look good. Sometimes it's not even about the individual. In a collective sense, in a collective sense, any white person that does good, white supremacists will, will, will basically worship them. Because it's like, oh, you, you added more to something that we need. We added more to the profile. We, we need you to add more to it. So 
you could just imagine the parade that they gave to him and everything else like that. The glorification, the praising and everything else like that. That would go to any man's head. You feel me? That would go to any man's head and have you talking down upon other people without you even realizing that you're talking down upon other people. You feel me? But he's still, he's like, nah, what they doing is wrong. You know what I mean? These people deserve justice and da da da. He spoke where he needs to speak. I wish I could just damn my phone. Hold on, let's see, man. Pull it up right now so I can read a few so y'all niggas know, man. Feel me? So we can definitely get the. Let's hear it from the horse's mouth himself. You know what I mean? Look. We gonna talk about Einstein. Yeah. Hold on. Holla, 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 holla. But in the meanwhile, while that takes time to come, yeah, you, like you feel me? We gotta, we gotta be selfless. We gotta place something above us. I believe you should always place God above you and everything else like that. You feel me? I would never go against God Himself. I know I, I hear other people. People always saying that. Before, let me get, I'll get back to Albert Einstein when the phone, my phone loads up. But it's not that my phone is running slow. It's just that I'm using this right here. So I only got one service, which is this service. But I got two phones, but this phone is not working. Da -da -da. Anyway, I'm using this phone right here. So let's, I'm going to wait for this one right here for it to come up because it's kind of slow. But anyway, people always say that, oh... The Bible has been tempted, has been tamed. It's not even a real, it's the King James Version. It's not even a real version. If it's a King James Version, then that means there was another version. Who gave that man the right to write another version? Then I'm like, yeah, look, man. We got to understand that this is the version that we have, and it's true. You feel me? It's true as that this is the version that we have and this is the version that we're working with. There are other versions too, but the King James Version is well known to be the one. You feel me? But it's also the truth in itself. You feel me? If you take a look at what they're talking about, and they say that, the, the, they say, and they say that Jesus Christ was white and Jesus wasn't even in his name, and they tell you the J, the letter J didn't come into this year. These people are very informed. They talk and talk. It be, it's amazing. And they tell you, oh, they tell you the letter J didn't come into the alphabet word, into this and that. And I'm like, ah, that's all good, but the real name of Jesus was Yahweh, this, that, and the third. I'm like, ah, that's, that's, all, that's all cute and everything else like that. And it's true. Okay, Jesus Christ in the